Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing Knight's Chronicle. And we're going to be checking out Isabel. Uh, I'm not really sure about Isabel. These people have literally just been calling her, like, the well unit. <laughs> For good reasons. Is she in here? Yeah, she is. Uh, let's take a look at her other designs. Eh, not a big fan of the five-star skin. Eh. I like the color green, but... The only thing I would like is the hammer. Oh. Her back is not pretty. Yeah, the cape's not half bad. Okay, obviously her six star looks way better than her rest rest of her star skins. Alright, so let's see. Her leader increases multi-strike chance by 20% for lights and waters. Okay. Obviously another light unit we have now. Um her first skill. Alright, her first skill, she damages one target and has a chance to stun an enemy for one turn if if the caster has a gold stack. So I'm guessing gold stack is her mechanic. So let's go ahead and see what else she has. Oh yeah, she's a hybrid too. She's I thought she was going to be a tank or something, but nah, she's going to be more of a hybrid, more of a like, controller. Uh, attacks one target. Has a chance to charm a target for one turn. Acquires three stacks. Okay, so basically skipping an enemy's turn and giving you stacks so you can have your stun chance. Our third. Inflicts damage on one target and two adjacent, which means anybody beside the target you're trying to mainly hit. Has a chance to stun for one turn. And if the caster has at least one stack, consume all stacks and decrease the target's turn. So the target's gonna pretty much go back. If they were like up next after this character, they pretty much jump all the way back behind the other characters. So they so their turn is completely skipped. So they gotta wait into their next, you know, turn pretty much. All right, so stuns for two turns if you max it. Charm for two turns if you max this. All right, let's get into the passives and see her bread and butter. All right, obtain two gold stacks at the end of the turn. So you can only hold up to five. Consume one gold stack when attacked. Oh, decrease damage per stack. Okay, so she's basically tanking things if she has her stacks. But she would only be tanking up to like 25% and that's it. Alright, so she has a little bit of um, tankiness to her. It was, like I said, control. Control and tank is pretty much what she's going for here. Alright, her level 60 talent is she acquires one gold stack or stacks at the start of the wave. I mean, considering they push S, I'm just thinking she gets she has a chance of getting more at the start of the wave. Increases counter chance if the oh no Definitely not bringing this character into Sid no matter if she was good or not Because that's gonna be like a real bad issue. We already know about counter attacks and Multi-strike inside of Sid's dungeon that would be terrible, but she could be good in decaying Emphasis on could if anything and she's more of PvE adventure focused than advent focused in my opinion because a lot of bosses in there you can't really control you can't stun or anything like that so pretty much if they have like a big HP bar up here chances is you can't stun or control them or you know charm them or anything like that if they had like a normal little small HP bar over their heads, then more than likely they can be controlled and stunned. So if you guys need a character for at least that start of like the advent, then yeah, she's pretty decent. I'll give her that. But overall, she's all right-ish. The skills, yeah. all right, she looks pretty cool. Yeah. I got a little bit of panty shot. <laughs> oh God. You know what, no matter if she was bad or not, I'm pretty sure all wells are literally just gonna well the hell out of her. <laughs> just max out all the skills. 
Oh my god, the very de definition of a well right there. <laughs> the very definition of a well. With all the treasures and all. And no, you don't get free crystals each time you use the skill. If that was the case, then everybody would be welling for her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not really going to summon for the character. I'm, I'm just fine with like controllers I have right now I don't really need like stuns or charms at the moment but if I was to get her by chance I'd, I'd be fine with it oh where is this going I was about to say you're gonna keep going Jake yeah I'm good all right so Avents. uh the two new Avents that are here are Kristen and Teo, which I'll be doing on stream. I'm pretty sure I can do Kristen, but the thing is, I don't think I have any friends who are carrying Claude, who I don't have. Oh no, and actually, no, never mind. Two people are. That's perfect, actually. Okay, I need one more person to carry Claude, or either that, or I'll just. Hmm. Or I'll just wait the hour and wait for them to refresh. That'll be alright. Teo, on the other hand, already have the team. Okay, this is not the team, by the way. Don't don't look at that. This is totally trash team. <laughs> um So these are gonna be my first runs inside of this dungeon. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. It could go completely terribly if anything uh who else do i want to bring in i could bring in here he is bring in him and i can search for a ruby how many rubies are here one oh god just a whole bunch of cordelias i i might as well just bring a cordelia then just bring an extra one they say screw all that. Yeah, that's exactly what I might do. But you guys do know that Teo Dungeon takes like pretty much close to an hour. If anything, if you have this character maxed out and already ready for PvE and not PvP, I'm just saying, he could actually more than likely replace Cordelia just because of this skill right here and the taunt where everybody if whoever dies he just taunts all the enemies and you know just healing off of everybody's deaths and everything so that's actually pretty useful and plus his passive which protects everyone keeps Cordelia alive keeps Ramu alive if in this, like a bad situation I'm actually enjoying this character this character is totally worth farming for sure now pretty much my Cordelia and <laughs> Yeah, they're both kind of close to each other when it comes to, like, defense. So I might bring them in just to see what would happen. But, yeah, as you can see, they're close together. So if I was to max him out completely, he would completely excel over her at stats. So you guys know who would be way better in this situation. So if you have him, that is a substitute for Cordelia for sure. Because you can just heal off your two, and plus you pretty much heal if you're like 50% or lower. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I can show you guys. But tonight, I will be streaming, be doing these advents, and if I complete them for the first time, I will definitely upload them to the channel. But with that said, guys, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. To then. Peace out. That's pretty much all I had to show. <laughs> Happy farmings for Isabel, too. To all our wells out there. And, yeah, just have a good one. Peace out, guys. Where's gonna get better real soon? Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo,